Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another Marvel Legends action figure review. And here we have the Avengers video game Outback Hulk, or I don't know what he's called in the actual game. I know it's different from the Outback Hulk. Uh, but here he is in the front with the Avengers logo, Hulk. Here's the side art with all the Avengers from the Avengers game. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's the Outback Hulk right there. On the top, we get the Avengers game logo. Uh, it's this game reverse up here, by the way. Um, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI. And I finally got it today uh, from GameStop. Uh, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. And here he is right out of the packaging. I really like it. I have some little concerns about it, but that's not really it. Uh, a big problem but let's go over the accessories first here so here's his like calm head sculpt here he has one head sculpt i like what they did for the beard the paint kind of goes over the beard and here too on this mustache they did a really good job and then you get i think yeah, you get some sort of like gray wash i think throughout the hair here i'm not sure if you guys can see it real well but oh excuse me but I like the look of it. You got that dark gray there. Some little bit of white, lighter gray or white going on there. So that's pretty good. Oh, shoot. And I also did just see like a little bit of brown on the beard. Has like that little bit of brown tint in there. But it's pretty good. All right. Uh, and then uh, he also comes with uh, two like... I guess clenched hands here. He has, they're both different though. So this one's like a little more open, whereas this one's like, it's like kind of holding something. It kind of looks like he's trying to hold something. It's like a grabbing hand. And then he has two fist hands. Not much going on there, but for some reason, I think mine has like a little bit of chipping going on there or a little bit of something plucked off. Same deal with this, but it's not that big of a deal. It'll still work um and yeah um and then let's go over to this figure here so he looks pretty cool one thing that i will say about him he's not as bulky as the video game version of him and i know that because they're using the same um uh, body sculpt or um molds for the from the like uh, professor hulk from endgame build a figure so yeah, uh, that's the main reason why he's not as bulky. And one thing that I did have a problem with when I, pop, I got him out of the packaging, I know it's a build a figure, but this kind of pops out pretty easily. I literally just did this and it popped out, but it's oh well. Um, but let's go over to the figure here. So this one, he has this angry head sculpt face going on there. You get that nice teeth there. Uh, same deal with the hair and beard detailing. I like that a lot. It's pretty cool. And then you get more of this white paint or lighter gray paint through the chest there and then through the arms there. Kind of looks like a football right there. Uh, same deal on the other arms, kind of the same, but it's a little different, mainly because it's paint. They want it to look different. Um, and then you get the same ripped pants from the P Professor Hulk uh, Build-A-Figure. Um... And then I think the one thing, yeah, these are separate pieces, so you can just pop off the fists and then take these off and you get take off these wristbands. I like these, they're like torn up uh, wraps for them. So that's pretty cool. I'm keeping them on them though. Um, and yeah, uh, but yeah, you get the nice black pants there. Skin tone's good for the Outback Hulk. It's dark gray. Um, it's kind of it's kind of like fix Joe Fix It kind of um, feel going on there. And no, yeah, I wasn't even doing much, and it was already about to fall out. 
Um, but besides that, uh, let's go over the articulation. So his head, he has the same head dumbbell. I mean, it's not, it's like just a ball dumbbell joint. So it doesn't have the disc there. It's just two balls, one ball on the bottom there, and then one, and the other one for the head to be attached to. So you want to pop that back on. So you won't get much movement upward or you get them downward, but it's not quite all the way. So you don't get a whole much, a whole lot, uh, but you get left to right. You get some head pivoting, but not a whole lot. Um, his shoulders can move out that much, mainly because his shoulders are bulky. Uh, you get 360 rotation there, his bicep swivel, uh, double joints and elbows, if I could get the other one to work. There we go. A little past 90 degrees there, flexing. Um, his wrists can hinge up that, well, there goes the, the entire body there. Uh, up that far and down that far and you get 360 rotation. Let me pop this back into his shoulder there. Oh, there we go. And then he has a diaphragm joint here. So you can go side to side there. He can go forward now a whole lot there. Whoops, there we go. Let me move his arm there for you. So move forward not much, uh, backwards quite a bit, but I prefer to have him leaning forward because he's gonna be charging at people. He has a waist swivel, so you get 360 rotation around the waist. I just spin him around and the arm popped off again. His legs he pop, uh, kick out that far forward pretty decent for hulk uh backwards like zero i uh, he has an upper thigh cut he has double jointed knees uh that's as far i think i get him um and then he has his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot so overall it's a really cool figure I, the problem that i have with it i think it's just a defect of mine that the arm just keeps popping out like that but uh it's oh well it's oh well um and then i guess he looks a lot more leaner than he's supposed to especially from from the hulk being from the game um and then uh what else i like the detail of the like paint paint apps there um and yeah that's he his articulation so good uh i would just uh, the app crunch is the only problem with the articulation that I have with it. But that's not a big deal, I guess, for me. Um, but the big deal for me is that the shoulder keeps popping out, mainly. Um, and then the next one would be his head articulation. Like, he can't move his head up forward that much. Down, I mean, it's downward, it's okay. But I would like to have his head go up, looking up a little bit more than he is right now. But really, besides that, it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, I just wish they had it a l put a little more effort into it. Uh, but it's a pretty cool figure to have. It's a unique figure. I mean, it's like exclusive to GameStop. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a different Hulk. That's really the reason why I wanted to get it. And he looks pretty cool. Um, but really, uh, besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. 
So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.